we're having a look at Twoodle, a collaboration tool for businesses. So this is our first look. So this is what it's like for a user just starting out. Let's see how easy it is. Who's, what happens if I skip teammates, which is could be a bit annoying. Um, we're going to go with marketing and we're going to go with uh, oper operations. Rich. We could upload an avatar. They make team collaboration as simple as hashtags and mentions. We have Twitter for your business. What's one thing I want to get done today? Book, meeting room, boring. Book, meeting room, hashtag. What have we got? Hashtag marketing. Then I could add someone. Enter does not send it. This is a send it. What else have we got? Oh, they're hiding. We can vote it. We can send a question. <laughs> oh, nearly got you. Hold on. No, we're just going to do it. We're going to send it. Oh, we could have uploaded. Mm, let me see what happens. If, I'm just going to post one. With the upload. All right, I've uploaded. Mm, still got this. Can I get rid of that? There you go. Hashtag or hashtag vote. Let's throw a vote in there. Or I can vote for it myself. So I've uploaded. Let's have a look how that comes. Oh, I like this. Although, oh, you can hover over and see it. I quite like that. Uh, do I want to vote? Yes, the people they love their voting. There you go. So that this this is as I've said plenty of times before is interesting. How can we use all these managed topics? Let's go back to we've got team settings so we can have different teams. That's the general team. What happens if we have marketing team? user marketing we have business development oh, so this is where I'm actually going in and adding in team members there's our general we can change things in there this, this is me getting it wrong uh, users create a new team Company or team. Business development. Sample topic. Client. Presentation. Who will be in there? We can add some. Create a team without any invites. I, I definitely know that this is not the best run through without having people going back and forth. Uh, and we can see those down the side. Business development. I need to confirm my email. Okay, I've confirmed my email and I also got sent a 30 second clip on how to get started. I haven't looked at that yet, keeping with with what I was saying about having a look in in the software without having any idea of how to actually use it but just wanting to be like oh, can I click around and find out so we're switching between the different teams what else have we got we've got so we've got a to-do list item uh, catch taxi to airport hashtag to do better make sure there's a space there Let's try out a few of these. Mm -hmm. Who is coming to the Are you 
you go. I do. I think this is really innovative the way that they've done this. Let's see what we check it off. There you go. And have someone else doing it. Your to do as well. Add comments in. Make it just for yourself. I am. Um, someone could write. They come into the conference. Quite a few things. And um, we can look at just the feeds. I like this little gif of how it works. All to do's are managed. So if I take that off, go back into here, catch taxi down there. So if I close this, that'll just have my to do's for the day. I like that. Who wants voting? All the votes have been done. If I go back here, can I take my vote off? Close vote. Go back to vote. No, because I closed it, it's gone. Questions has been answered. Files. Is that one file? Hmm. Interesting. I, I say interesting a lot mainly because I'm looking at thinking, how could this be of use in our business? And with people sharing so many files, and the biggest thing for me is having a clean interface and making sure that things don't get lost, private messages. I really love the software that jumps on the back of systems that you're already using. So those knowledge gaps that you've got are a lot lower. So private messaging, having at mentions and having at mentions and hashtags um, really would work for a generation of staff members who are using Twitter. So I'm um, Love the first look at Twoodle, and this is the end of our first walkthrough.